Welcome to Allies or Enemies. This time we are looking at Meadow. Designed by Clemens Kaliki with art by Carolina Kayak, Meadow is a one to four player tableau building game set in the great outdoors. In Meadow, players are unsurprisingly building a meadow, starting from the forest floor and working up to birds of prey and other predators. Each turn, players are choosing new cards and adding new elements of flora and fauna in the form of berries and squirrels and hawks and maybe an ermine? The art is particularly terrific and the gameplay is simple but rewarding. Let's start with how it's played. Meadow is very much a gateway game. It looks terrific and it is simple to teach. Each turn, players use these path tokens to do one of two things. The first is to choose a card from the display by placing a token in a slot and using its top action to grab a card that many spaces away, and then playing any card from their hand. To play a card, you look to see if you have all of the necessary symbols in your meadow or roads if you're playing a landscape card. Then you put the new card on top of a card with one of those symbols, thus giving you a new symbol to play future cards. The second thing you can do is to slot a token into the campfire board and use its bottom action, which does things like give you road tokens or let you play two cards at once. When doing campfire actions, you can also play a bonus token if you have the right symbols already in your meadow. After either six rounds for one to three players or eight rounds for four players, you add up all the points on your cards and the place bonus tokens, and you see who enjoys nature the most. The artwork here is front and center. Every card is like a little nature painting, all unique and all beautiful. I mean, look at this little guy. The landscapes are gorgeous little stories, the animals are all alive and interesting, and when you start to collect them, you have the feeling of making a living forest. We both grew up in the Rocky Mountains, so this whole theme is kind of a bit of home. Outside of the cards, the boards are both well thought out, with different campfires for each player count, and the deck holders are a terrific touch. The only small complaint might be the space fillers for the campfire board which we almost threw away thinking they were just junk. But that one small qualm aside, this is a package that will make people stop, look, and want to play. The main point of interaction in Meadow comes from the card selection as path tokens fill up the slots on both boards and cut down options, which you will feel a little bit more with more players, but the difference isn't dramatic. And because turns are generally quick, just pick up a card and play a card, things should move pretty fast at any count. The biggest change is at four players, where players have one less path token per round, but they also have two more rounds. There's also a solo mode included in the game with a simple AI that takes up spots and grabs cards. It's more or less a best score mode, but it does work fairly well at mimicking the limited interaction of the multiplayer game, and it is worthwhile. Meadow is a fairly quick game, running about 45 minutes for two players. It is a bit more than a filler, but is very much one of those simple puzzles that keeps you coming back. We've played a half dozen times so far, and we are still just as charmed by the chill gameplay. There are almost 200 cards spread across four decks, which means that the market and your meadow will never be the same twice. Also, we found that the variable tokens for the campfire bonuses make a surprisingly large impact. And when you do want to add a little bit, the game comes with a series of envelopes with bonus cards to open. It suggests to open these on special occasions like the first day of spring or when you visit a national park. But there is nothing stopping you from adding a few new cards whenever you want to spice things up or just opening all of your presents early like we did. Expect to hear a lot about Meadow in the future. This is exactly the kind of crossover that tends to entice new players while still appealing to experienced gamers. It's charming, it's well-made, and it's simple to learn without being too 
simple to play. Scores tend to be close, so new players aren't likely to be demoralized, especially when they have something that looks so nice in the end. That said, this is a game with some strategy. Our scores have improved every game that we've played, and it's very much a game of inches. We're building that one three-point card. Instead of the one-point card, back in round two could make all the difference. Overall, we'd expect this to be one of the key games from 2021 that finds its way onto a lot of lists and into a lot of collections and maybe brings a few new faces into the hobby along the way. And that is it. Have you played Meadow yet or is this one on your list to try? Let us know in the comments and please do like and subscribe and hopefully we'll see you all next time for another game.